Hey there, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to October of 2022, yeah? Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this message finds you well. I hope you're doing well. Please keep in mind, Capricorn, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a fairly timeless reading. This does not necessarily have to resonate for you for the month of October. This could resonate for you at any moment. So whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that time. Um, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Okay? Okay. One last shuffle for you, Capricorn. Um, there is a feeling for you right now. What I want to say is like, it's almost like I want to, I feel like I want to, or maybe I'm being encouraged to go easy on you. Um, not that it's my intention to like rip somebody a new asshole, but sometimes I can do that sometimes. I mean, I'm really quite fiery, but that's not even, okay, well maybe, okay, so maybe some of you are like, whoa, go on, go easy on me, dude. Like. You've been, ripping, you've been ripping me apart lately. I, I don't know if I can handle this right now. But the fact that you're watching this still, number one, I'm grateful. Number two, you can handle it. You need it, you're ready for it, whatnot, whatever. But that's also, okay, that aside, if there's still just an energy of softness about you right now. And actually, it's, it, and that's not a bad thing. What Spirit just said is really, it, technically, it's vulnerability. You are vulnerable at this time. For in some cases, you are allowing yourself to be vulnerable right now. Whereas in the past, you may not have at all. You may have, you may have been of the mind of um, believing that vulnerability or a level of softness is bad, a negative, a detriment. But actually, oh, oh, or it may be like a sign of weakness. But actually, being able to allow yourself to be vulnerable in the right moments, of course, in the appropriate moments, is actually a sign of strength. It's actually a very, it, it takes strength, okay? All right, so let's talk about this. What's going on for Capricorn at this moment? First card is death. All right, so you are in a vul vulnerable moment because you're transforming and this is akin to like when a butterfly is finally starting to emerge out of the cocoon in that moment they are extremely vulnerable because it's not like they come out they pop out of the cocoon and they can just fly off no they need to take some time their wings need to dry before they will be able to have that natural intrinsic defense me mechanism of being able to fly away from danger you are in a moment right now, Capricorn, where you are technically emerging out of the cocoon. And we've kind of been talking about this for you. This does feel like related to what I've been channeling for you for, I think, like the last two months of, um, I think this, this is, Spirit is taking me back to the reading, I believe it was two months ago, where I was saying some of you are accepting the non-physical elements of life and existence. And at this point now, however that resonates for you, you are transforming because of that. And yes, you're in a vulnerable moment because you're in a vulnerable, vulnerable phase of this transformation. But also, this feels like there is a level of intrinsic vulnerability that, is, that has been installed within you. There is, there is a feeling here, as I feel through this energy, I feel like moving forward, you are going to be much more peaceful, much more compassionate, much more open, much more vulnerable, but in healthy ways. And yes, for some of you, you're gonna have to learn how to be vulnerable in healthy ways, when and where the proper time to be vulnerable or not, okay? But ultimately, it feels like that there is a level of that that has been installed within you, and that is a part of how and or why you are transforming at this time. What's going on for Capricorn? 
Ooh, five of swords, eight of pentacles. Yeah, I'm going to stop there. Overall energy is the three of pentacles. What I'm getting with this, you guys, is I hear, I hear someone saying either to themselves or to other people, I'm really trying here. I'm really trying to understand things differently. I'm really trying to see the other person's point of view. I'm really trying to not be so rigid or not be so combative. You do have this five of swords energy. And I feel like what it is you're transforming out of has been a mindset of might is right in some cases for some of you. So what does that mean? That, that might is right and mentality is, well, if I can overpower you, then you deserve it. And I shouldn't have to feel bad about it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. For some of you, that was an energy, uh, you, you expressed that because it made you feel good. It made you feel empowered. But that was of detriment to you. Five of Swords energy is a lose-lose situation altogether. For others of you, maybe it's not necessarily might is right. Maybe it's just a matter of kind of always having to be right. That was a similar energy that I channeled for Virgo this month. So maybe you have a Virgo placement. You might want to watch that if you haven't done so already. I, I'm looking at the Five of Swords and I'm getting an image of someone in a combative state, but always trying to prove others wrong not being willing to accept that there are other ways of thinking of things or other ways of seeing things or that there are energies and or and or influences that are unseen so then that also relates back to the energy of accepting the non-physical elements of life and existence and you really are working on it you really are trying and i also want to say you have been trying eight of pentacles but also what this is saying here is your death, your transformation is a direct result of you trying to work on, for lack of a better term, or to boil it down, not being so combative. And you are going through a, and, and, and I'm also hearing and feeling that the transformation is successful, has been successful, will be, will continue to be successful. And this is all an, an element here of you working on yourself, self-mastery, three of pentacles, but also you ha being in a mindset of being more of a team player. This may be, uh, you may, the, the, the phrase, you will catch more flies with honey than vinegar. That phrase may apply to you at this point or in this energy, in this transformation that you're going through. And in some cases, I'm feeling like that could be a little bit of, a little bit selfish, but to each his own. I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even going to try and judge you for that. Like it's not my place to judge anyway. Um, and don't, I wouldn't take that offensively. I mean, like, yeah, there is a level of selfishness here in terms of that, in terms of going through your transformation. Oh, and this is related to the reading that I did maybe last month that was titled. Um, getting something about getting what you want but going about it in a better way that's more technically i guess would be more agreeable with other people i mean yeah there is a level of selfishness there but it's really about what's best for you as an individual right this is similar to ophiuchus's energy as well so maybe watch that reading Actually, yeah, that really could apply to you. Maybe watch the Ophiuchus reading. Maybe you have an Ophiuchus placement. You don't have to. It's, there's, there's still baby messages in there for you that would resonate, okay? The Ophiuchus reading from this month is something about, you know, facing boundaries and, right, and, and rigidness that have been overburdening this person. So check that out if this resonates for you, if you feel so inclined. Like if me saying that is like, ooh, piques your interest a little bit, go ahead, go right ahead and check it out. Okay, let's clarify. Death. What's death for Capricorn? What's this transformation for Capricorn? The Nine of Swords. The Seven of Cups. You know, um, it feels like 
the state that you were coming out of, maybe some of the rigid energy that you were feeling was because of the fact that there are too many options. There, there, I feel like you are a person or you are of the, or have been of the um, alignment mentally where you need that you need you need you need solid facts and that makes sense i mean you're an earth sign or this is an earth energy okay so anything that like anything that is kind of not you can't anything that you can't really nail down solidly freaked you out or gave you anxiety or you didn't want to accept it this is the energy that you're transforming out of. Death, clarified by the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. You got anxiety or fear because of the options, because something may not be necessarily clear, because something may be 1111, something may be able to be interpreted in a different way than what someone else would say or what wouldn't be normally believed or what it is you believe and then because of that you were being super super rigid four of pentacles not willing to budge not willing to move but this is exactly what it is you're transforming out of your overall energy here clarifying death is the queen of wands again this is very similar to the ophiuchus reading you really might want to watch that because in that reading we were saying okay so these boundaries that you've been holding, Ophiuchus, that were really rigid, how has that been burdening you? And the question when the Queen of Wands came out, because that did come for, out for Ophiuchus, was, so who do you really want to be? What do you really want to be in alignment with? What, do you, what energetic vibration, what energetic signature do you want to hold that is your point of attraction? Do you want more of this same energy? Or do you want to find an alignment that's best for you that allows you to feel safe in the midst of the options or in the midst of uncertainty? Safe and or grounded in the midst of options and or uncertainty or differing of opinion or changeable situations. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's clarify this Five of Swords then. It's the Five of Swords for Capricorn. Two of Pentacles. With the Two of Pentacles I'm getting, in association with this Five of Swords energy for you, I'm getting there are two sides to every coin. There are at least two sides to every story. Five of Swords. Seven of Wands. the lovers and then the two of wands wow capricorn this what this is feeling like here is allowing somebody else to have their own opinion i just heard let go of the rigidity It's not about one person being right or one person coming out on top. It's about finding balance and harmony because the two of pentacles could also represent balancing something. Everyone has their right to choose. Everyone has their right to their own beliefs. Everyone has their own right, their right to holding certain boundaries for themselves regardless as to whether you find it ridiculous or not, doesn't, quite frankly, doesn't fucking matter. Because it's not for you to choose or decide for them. They have the right to choose. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna remain in this rigid combative energy or are you going to choose to allow things to be what they are, allow people to be who they are? That's what I'm getting from this. This five of swords energy makes perfect sense. Okay, eight of pentacles then. 
Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles for you, Cap. What's the Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn? The Five of Cups. The Nine of Wands. Oh! Wow. That's a lot. Okay. Um, spirit's going into great detail here is what they're telling me. The overall energy is the High Priestess. The High Priestess dominantly, usually, feels like an initiatory energy, initiation into something. The High Priestess is all about secrets, higher wisdom, higher knowledge, hidden knowledge. I'm getting a feeling for you, Capricorn, that you are about to be able to let into some greater secrets, let in, into... Uh, this, is, this feels like some sort of spiritual initiation. The High Priestess also represents higher awareness. Give me a second, because this is a lot of cards here. So the Eight of Pentacles would represent the work that you are doing, the work that you have done, the work that has been done. In some cases, I want to say... Capricorn that some of you may have been forced into submission or there is an energy here of feeling like you've been dominated you're being dominated you're being forced into submission but that's not on behalf of any sort of physical end of being that is on behalf of the universe the universe is trying to get you to understand or has been trying to get you to understand that there's much more to life than you see or than you believe and it doesn't it's not like you have to start believing what all these other people believe it's just that you have to start allowing yourself to accept that there's more to it than just your point of view that's what i'm feeling or hearing here five of cups oh, so clarifying i'm sorry clarifying this eight of pentacles here you have the five of cups the nine of wands the five of wands the four of cups <laughs> the star the page of swords and the queen of cups Ultimately, this is breaking down to, you have this Five of Cups here, which is loss, regret even. I do feel like some of you may have experienced loss in terms of interpersonal relationships because of this energy. And yet, Five of Cups. So there was something you lost. There's something to grieve here. And you kept going with it. Instead of kind of changing your approach, you were like, no, no, I'm right here or you were you wanted to believe that you were right or that there wasn't some sort of i guess we could say responsibility that you needed to accept in terms of the situation okay nine of wands there's a differing of opinion five of wands every opinions are like assholes everybody's got one and you were reluctant to accept that but then something happened maybe a tower moment because the tower does come before the star but there's some sort of light that you're following now and you're investigating with it, investigating it, you're going with it. And ultimately that is relating to you becoming more emotionally aware. Or either this is emotional awareness in the Queen of Cups or it's compassion. Compassion for other people's beliefs, compassion for other people's plight, their direction in life, who it is they are because of what it is they've experienced, whatnot, whatever. More compassion, more emotional understanding, maybe even, um, um, empathy, empathic nature, maybe even some of, some of you actually with this high priestess also at the overall, as the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, this initiation that may be happening for some of you could be you starting to become more psychically aware, being able to pick up on other people's emotions and or feelings, being able to read other people's energy. But there is also a strong level of deep level of compassion that comes with that as well. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. I see you. I see you, boo. Okay, cool. Let's get your closing message then. Closing message for Capricorn here, please, Spirit. The Ace of Cups, Cappy. Look at that. There's that compassion right there. Ace of Cups. Closing message, please, for Capricorn. Ooh, the Hierophant now. Oh, shoot. And Strength. 
back to the Three of Pentacles as the overall energy. Okay, so your closing message here is the Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, and Strength. This is a tough lesson for you. It feels like you may have been knocked on your ass a few times or knocked around quite a bit. Okay. The Hierophant is the counterpart to the High Priestess. And whereas the High Priestess represents higher spiritual wisdom, the Hierophant represents physically oriented. I, I'm hearing low vibrational, but uh, I don't necessarily want to call it that. Yes, naturally and technically it would be lower in vibration than what the High Priestess represents because we're lower in density here, right? In this physical world. Tough lessons. Often I feel like the Hierophant represents tough lessons. Very Saturnian energy. And I feel like some, somebody here may actually have been really been humbled quite a bit. You may also really resonate with the Virgo reading because that was the Virgo message. The title of that reading is a, a humbling situation. So it does feel like there is a level here of being humbled. And, it, and now as a direct result, pulling your ego back or bringing your ego in check. But all of this is with love. There is absolutely love here. You may have been humbled in the sense the universe may have knocked you around and told you to take several seats, maybe even forced you to take several seats, but it's all from love. You are still loved. You are still being loved. And it's because the universe, God, source, creator, the divine loves you so much that they want you to get this. Maybe so that you can be in more harmony with people around you is what I just heard. This is a tough lesson. Because also, the Hierophant can represent higher learning, higher awareness, you know, university, something like that. But ultimately, Capricorn, ooh, wow, okay, I went to just pick up the, the deck to show you the Three of Pentacles again. Ultimately, this is a level of self-mastery for you, of you working on yourself, being a better version of the person who, that you truly are. And then I was trying to pick up the deck and um, it's split in a sense, and it's split to the Ace of Swords. Truth, awareness, honesty, integrity. I feel like for some of you, the Ace of Swords represents the, an, an epiphany, an aha moment. And I literally heard, oh, I get it now. Mm -hmm. And that's the energy that's kind of putting you in this place of, okay, let me work on myself a little bit more. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, see? Ooh, look. It's three cards here. It's the Ace of Swords, but underneath the Ace of Swords is the High Priestess to the Three of Swords. And what I'm getting specifically with this Capricorn is what you get now is how you may have caused pain for others in some sort of rigid stance. Wow, Capricorn. That's excellent. That is really, really excellent. Congratulations. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the offers that I, where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. And with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month. I'm sending you so, so, so much love. Please remember that this vulnerability is a place of strength. I'm sending you so much love, Capricorn. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>